In this video, let us solve the questions from uh, quadratic equations, which is based on geometry word problems. The questions are uh, taken from previous year board question papers. Question number one is taken from model question paper 2023 and it is three marks question. The question is area and perimeter of a rectangular field are 60 meter square and 32 meter respectively. Find the length and breadth of the field. Now what is given? A rectangular field, isn't it? Rectangular uh, shape has uh, four sides. You know about it. All angles are uh, 90 degree. It uh, has length and breadth. Area of uh, it is length into breadth. Etc. Etc. You know. Okay. Uh, now what is given? Area. Area is length into breadth. It is given as 60 meter square. And perimeter. 32 meter. What is the perimeter of a rectangle? Any shape. Sum of all the sides. In rectangle, this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. So, length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. That means 2L plus 2B is equal to 32. Here 2 is common. Observe L 2 into L plus B. What is it? 32. L plus B is equal to transpose 2 to RHS. 32 by 2 that is 16. Here we have two unknowns. So now we will let us express B in terms of L. Either you can do um, L in terms of B also you can express. B in terms of L also you can express. B is equal to 16 minus L. Let this be equation number 1. Then area we know length into breadth. It is given as 60 meter square. Here uh, length we know length as length only. Breadth is 16 minus L from 1 is equal to 60. It implies that now multiply 16 L minus L square is equal to 60. Now write in the standard form. This is a quadratic equation. Now let us write it in the standard form. <clears throat> First you have to write L square. You know why? Transpose it to RHS. Since it has a negative sign. Okay. Minus L. What L? 16 L plus 60 is equal to 0. This is the equation. Now let us solve it. It is the equation. Many of the students know the answer by looking at this, isn't it? Now we have to factorize 60 as to get uh, minus 16. This method is uh, known as uh, factorization method or uh, splitting the middle term method. Now let us factorize 60. 2 into 30 is 60 but we cannot uh, get minus 16. 3 into 20 is 60 but we cannot. You need not uh, do all these dramas if you know directly right answer. Okay. 4 into 15. No, it is not. 5 into 12, no, it is not. 6 into 10, this is the answer. Minus 6, minus 10, you will get minus 16. If you multiply, 
you will get 60. Now let us write L square minus 10L minus 6L plus 60 is equal to 0. Now L is common. L minus 10 into here 6 is common. 6 into L minus 10 is equal to 0. L minus 10 into L minus 6 is equal to 0. Uh, L is equal to 10 or L is equal to 6. So, length may be either uh, 10 meter or 6 meter. Length either 10 meter or 6 meter. When length is uh, 10 meter, what is breadth? We know that breadth is 16 minus L, isn't it? It implies that 16 minus 10. So, breadth is 6 meter. When length is 10 meter, breadth is 6 meter. When length is 6 meter, breadth is 10 meter. So, length is equal to how much? 10 meter breadth larger one. Let us take it as length 6 meter. If you multiply these two, you will get 60. If you add these two, you will get 16. 16 into 2, 32. That is the perimeter. The second question is taken from 2022 main exam question paper. It is also there in 2020 supplementary exam question paper. It is 3 marks question. It is also there in textbook questions. Exercise number 10.3 question number 6. Now, what has been given there? A rectangular field. Since it is based on uh, geometrical figures, the problem is based on geometrical figures. Now, let us draw rectangle. Diagonal is there. So, diagonal <coughs> uh, of the field uh, is uh, 60 meter more than 60 meter more than what? Shorter side. It is breadth is shorter side. Let it be x. So, so diagonal is x plus 60. If longer side that is length is 30 meter more than the shorter side. Shorter side is x plus 30. Now let Shorter side B X meter Then uh, diagonal X plus 60 meter Then uh, longer side x plus 30. We have to find the sides of the field. Means length and breadth. Shorter side and uh, longer side. Breadth. Now, <clears throat> if you observe this figure, this is right angle triangle. Isn't it? In a rectangle, all angles are equal to 90 degree. According to Pythagoras theorem, square on hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on other two sides. So, now, x plus 60 the whole square, diagonal, this one, hypotenuse square, is equal to x square plus this side square, x plus 30 whole square. Y 
பைத்தாகோரஸ் தேரம் then uh, expand this and uh, this by using a plus b whole square formula now let us expand this a square means x square 2 into a 2x into b what is b 60 2 into 60 120 x plus b square means 60 square 6 square is uh, 36 3600 is equal to x square this one now let us expand this a square means x square plus 2 into a means 2x into 30 60x plus b square that is 900 now let us uh, uh, here x and x can get cancel since uh, they have the same sign in uh, the and present in lhs and rhs now let us reorganize this rearrange this x square plus 60x here the term with x is 1 120 if you transpose to rhs it becomes minus 120 plus uh, 900 this one if you transpose to rhs it becomes minus 3600 is equal to 0 this is equal to here positive and negative sign bigger number sign is negative 120 minus 60 is 60x here bigger number sign uh, negative 3600 minus 900 is equal to 16 minus 9 that is ah uh, that is 7 sorry 2700 is equal to 0 now it is in standard form x square minus 60x minus 2700 is equal to 0 it is in standard form you can uh, use any of the methods factorization or uh, formula method any method uh, here let me use formula method the formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 60 c is equal to minus 2700 now x is equal to minus minus b that is minus b means minus minus 60 plus or minus square root of b square minus 60 square minus 4 into what is a 1 what is c minus 2700 upon 2 into a is 1 here negative and negative positive plus or minus 60 square 3600 here negative here also negative negative into negative positive 4 into 2700 47 is 28 42 8 2 2 this is equal to 60 plus or minus square root of 0 0 last two numbers 8 plus 6 14 carry 1 3 plus 1 4 1 square root of 14400 okay divided by 2 here this is 60 plus or minus square root of this thing is square root of uh, 144 is 12 
instead of two zeros one zero one twenty divided by two. This is equal to. It implies that sixty plus one twenty by two or sixty minus one twenty by two. Most probably this answer does not hold good. Uh, you can observe here. Don't waste uh, time. Simply because uh, here negative sign, no negative sign. Answer will be minus thirty. So this answer is not uh, suitable in this case. Here, let us solve it. One twenty minus six. Uh, plus sixty is equal to one eighty by two. That is ninety. X is ninety. Means uh, shorter side hmm? is ninety. Then uh, longer side is thirty more than the shorter side. What is it? One twenty. So now you can write x is equal to ninety. meter means shorter side breadth is 90 meter and uh, longer side that is x plus 30 that is 90 plus 30 that is equal to 120 meter the third question is taken from uh, 2022 main exam question paper and it is uh, three marks question it is also there in the textbook in uh, exercise uh, similar question not the same question 4.2 in cbsc textbook it is in 10.2 in uh, sslc textbook the def difference is here uh, 7 cm less than its base here 7 cm more than the other side some words are different now let us solve uh, this question In a right angle triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is 13 cm. Among the remaining two sides, the length of one side is 7 cm more than the other side. Find the sides of the triangle. Now let us have triangle. Uh, since uh, this question is uh, based on geometrical figures, let us draw it. Hypotenuse is 13 cm, isn't it? Let this side be x, then this side is x plus seven because one side is seven centimeter more than the other side. Now we can use uh, Pythagoras theorem because it is right angle triangle. Square on the hypotenuse is equal to square on other uh, sum of the squares on other two sides. Now so. 13 square is equal to x square plus x plus 7 the square. Why? According to Pythagoras theorem. Now, 13 square is 169 x square. Here expand by using a plus b whole square formula. X square. Plus 14x. Why you know? 2 into x, 2x, 2x into 7, 14x. 7 square is 49. Now rearrange. X plus x, x square plus x square, 2x square, plus 14x. Here transpose this to this side. Then 169. Minus 169 plus 49. Negative sign. Bigger number sign. Zero. Six minus four two one twenty is equal to zero. Here two is common in everything, so we can remove it outside. Two x two into x square plus seven x minus sixty in is equal to zero. Then our standard. Form of the quadratic equation is x square plus seven x minus sixty is equal to zero. Now let us uh, factorize. It is uh, easier to get the value small number. So 
the numbers are uh, minus 12 and not minus 12 plus 12 and minus 5 12 5 is are 60 plus 12 minus 5 is plus 7 so x square plus 12x minus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0 x is common here in this group so let us take it outside x into x plus 12 minus 5 into x plus 12 is equal to 0 minus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 12 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 5 this is the possibility we can have it but x is equal to minus 12 we cannot have it since it is the measure of uh, sides of right angle triangle if x is equal to 5 centimeter if fella x, uh, x when x is equal to 5 centimeter the other side x plus 7 what is it 5 plus 7 that is uh, 12 centimeter so the sides are 5 centimeter and 12 centimeter 